Sometime. Okay. Love you too. And you, I appreciate everything. And you did good. You did yeah. good, Fred. You got a lot of moxie in that body, I'll tell you. And to you, <laughs> thank you for everything. And we'll see you. You're welcome. Good luck with your surgery. Thank you. Let us know how it's going. I think you need to come to California and take care of me. You took care of Karini. Well, my took son's care coming to visit too. Yeah, yeah, that is true. I can't wait for that. That's going to yeah. be exciting. So we'll have a good time, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I gotta get right. out of here. Bye, drive safe. safe. Love you. Love you. Bye. Good morning, everybody. As you already noticed, Aunt Barbara has taken off to head home back to Connecticut. Mom and I are running to the bank, and I have to run to a couple of stores real quick. She's going to wait in the car while I run into the stores because she really should not be on her knee. And look what she's doing right now. Yeah, I told her not to do this. I would do it, but of course, she has to do it. Where do I get my OCD from and have to do things myself? Right there. That woman bending over, doing laundry, who should not be on her knee. But can she sit down and stop? No. So guys, we're back from the store and mom got some mail that was pretty disturbing. So I'm going to let her tell you guys a little bit about what's going on. I received a letter in the mail maybe about three weeks ago from Allstate telling me that if I didn't pay X amount of dollars that they were going to terminate my policy. And this is and Pa's life insurance. They already said they terminated it. And they said they sent me a letter before that but I didn't get anything. So to make a long story short, they terminated the policy. I had to come up with $668 to pay for that mistake that I guess they made because they said they weren't taking enough money out of our, we have, uh, where they take it out automatically. So they said I was not paying the proper amount. So therefore, because of their mistake, they terminated our policy. And he's 75 years old. So we don't need our life insurance policy terminated at this point. Anyway, my grant, my daughter paid $688 to the life insurance, and I was reinstated. I get a letter yesterday in the mail telling me everything is settled, I'm reinstated, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Today I get a letter in the mail telling me I owe them 800 and some odd dollars. I said, what the heck's going on? So I was irate. I called Allstate, and they said, "Ignore this letter. Ignore this letter that I just got." So anyway, to make a long story short, everything is straightened now. I just verified with the bank that they took all this payment out of the bank. So if they say they didn't, it's their screw up and not mine. That's that's about it. Thank and you. You guys got life insurance, everything's yeah. all straightened out. We got life insurance and it's all straightened out. So far till they make another boo boo. But all states have painted the butt. Okay guys, so I promised you more stories from the Lone Wolf and here we go with some more. I don't know, stories. I guess she wants to hear about how we how things went when we were little. My mother had a lot of kids. One of them she gave to my aunt, my brother, and if he stood next to me today, you'd swear we were twins. <laughs> and he was mad when he found out that he was my brother instead of my cousin. And he moved out of state. You know, but that was later on in life. Who was that? I didn't know this one. Um, yeah, that was uh, Jimmy Klein. And uh, 
Well, what happened when we were younger, uh, welfare took me and my two sisters away and put us in a home, an orphanage. And they crossed off our names on the birthday and just stuck Stalter on them. So, I mean, my, my real name was R Frederick Richard Bossart, Jr. And we were there, I was put there when I was six and a half. Now, you, won't, you and Aunt Barbara are the, are true Barbara and brother I and sister. Brother and sister. My other sister, Christy, she was a stepsister. And she was born to the guy Stalter. And that's why when they put us in the oven, they crossed us all off, put us all under the name of Stalter. They crossed Boss Hard off. Yeah. But I had the birth certificate which was still on it and everything. I was raised in there, raised in there. I didn't know anybody. Uh, weekends was visiting days and everybody's got parents come to visit and everything. And I had nobody visiting. I didn't think I had any parents or anybody. Nobody knew where we were, all my aunt and uncles and them. In a cottage doing something one day and they come and said to me, you got to visit. <laughs> I looked around and I said, me? Who the hell's here to visit me? I ain't got nobody. Said your mother. I said, I ain't got no mother. Where did I get a mother from? <laughs> and how old were you at this point? Uh, I was probably around 12, 12, 13, somewhere around there. And that's when I found out I had a mother. Later on, uh, she'd come to visit a couple of Sundays and stuff. And later on, I was able to go home uh, that way, but not with my mother, my Uncle Bill. Uh, he come to visit us, so that's when I met my Uncle Billy and Aunt Ida. And he was a little mad because nobody told him where we were, and he would have came and got me out of there. Uh, or, you know, got me and my sisters out. I, saw, I was there till I was 17. So you were there 11 years? Yeah. And the only way I got out is I called my Uncle Bill to come and get me, and he came and took me out of there. And, of course, he had a tight house with one bedroom. <laughs> and he had two kids, uh, Russell and Linda. Uh, and that's when I met my Uncle Everett, Aunt Tinny, and Aunt Ruthie, and all, and I started meeting my family. And my Uncle Everett kept calling me Junie. I said, what the, what am I Junie, you know? That's when he told me my name is Frederick Richard Bossar Jr. But I never found out much about my family, you know, my father, and he died in the war, supposedly. <laughs> and, that was it. I never, never knew much. So then I start. I grew up with my uncle Bill. The house was too small, really, with three of us sleeping in the bedroom. Uncle Bill and Aunt Ida in the living room. Uh, so uh, my brother Eddie just got back from in, in service. He was in the uh, paratroopers, and he had a, a, a son and a daughter, I think, but uh, he had an apartment big enough where I could have my own bedroom, so he, I moved in with him. Gave my Uncle Billy some room. <laughs> and I stayed with him until I got married. And then after that, <laughs> it's a married life for the rest of the day and working the whole time. Oh. So my dad, has never really been, his last name is Boss Hart. He's never legally had his name changed over to Stalter. When they put them in the orphanage, they just crossed out Boss Hart on their birth certificate and wrote Stalter. So his real last name would be Boss Hart, which would make my mom and dad's wedding illegal and us children illegitimate. Go figure. <laughs>